The reason why I always brought Ricky in is because uh, his understanding of wrestling and jiu-jitsu as far as putting it together for MMA is really to explain it to me. Uh, sometimes, you know, the wrestling stuff I would be hard-headed on, but uh, Ricky's a very good instructor. He has a phenomenal level of patience. Not only does he have an understanding of the most basic move all the way up to the most intricate move, so that way you know that you can start off getting a great foundation with somebody that's not going to be tired of uh, trying to explain things. Sometimes I've been with some guys who are extremely high level, and if you ask a question that's kind of... Uh, mundane or kind of below them they can get frustrated They're like look you know i don't want to talk about this you know the, if you're not really challenging them they get bored whereas uh ricky you know he's willing to talk to a guy who has no experience all the way to somebody such as myself who's you know fighting for titles in the ufc Despite the conspicuous presence of little ones, training in Camp Mir is far from child's play. The philosophy at the gym reflects the maturity of the 11-year UFC veteran. On a pummel drill like this, you are reaching with the hand, right? But really, in the reality of everything, you should be off to the side. So I need to be here. Control the elbow. Boom, boom. Yes. And now you go retaliate. Now you're out. And now I turn the hips and pull. That's right. Fighting with our bodies, uh, that's limited. Father time sets in. Keeping your mind sharp, that's forever. I can use my mind now to be the great equalizer. So if you open the elbow, you yeah. lose the underhook. You could stay here. Right, and I could jack. do here. We do nerd a little bit when we come in here. You know, we, we get in here and we, we work on our MMA and make sure that we're doing it right. We're, we're going to watch other people and what they've done, not just now, but even thought processes through history to come back and figure out warfare strategy plans. Very uh, Sun Tzu. Joe Santos pretty much does the same thing every fight. Uh, he's undefeated in the UFC and he's the, he's the current holder of the belt. But as far as tricky and surprising, I don't think you can really put that on him. I know his footwork, you know, his speed. It's things that are simulatable. <laughs> Time. 